Hey, my name is Juan Velazquez, and today I'm going to illustrate you about bourbon whiskey. As a bartender for over three years, I have experience and I've done the research on many spirits. And whiskey is one of the most controversial and innovative spirits there is in the market. It's only, it was only created 15 years away from the independence of the United States. This has made bourbon whiskey one of the most remarkable spirits in America. So this is my introduction. My general purpose is to illustrate the audience about the importance of bourbon whiskey in America. My specific purpose is to highlight bourbon whiskey as the spirit of American identity. Native of Bourbon, Kentucky, it saw the beginning of an era of construction. It started growing up as a symbol of independence and ingenuity. Today, we're talking about bourbon whiskey. The purpose of this speech is to illustrate the audience about bourbon's rich history, its cultural significance, its applications to the economy, and what makes it a symbol of American heritage. From the hills of Kentucky to the Maker's Mark, today we're talking about the resemblance story of bourbon whiskey. For centuries, whiskey has played a vital role in American story. From the first batch distilled by Elijah Craig to the old fashioned in your hand. From the hills of Kentucky to the iconic Maker's Mark, let us sail to the past and remember the story of bourbon whiskey and what it makes it a part of American culture. As a former bartender, I have encountered many people that has asked me about whiskey story. They realize that whiskey is one of the most important parts of American spirits and therefore they intrigate about its story. There is no one better to ask than a bartender. So you as a bartender must have this knowledge to make this experience of your clients formidable. Today I will talk about bourbon's whiskey origins and its definition how bourbon whiskey expanded, and its cultural significance. Now let us begin uh, with a clear definition of what bourbon whiskey is. Bourbon whiskey can be traced all the way back to the 1700s. At this time, Kentucky was a soil where the climate characteristics were perfect for the growth of corn, the main ingredient of bourbon. Bourbon whiskey is a type of whiskey where the mash bill is composed of at least 51% of corn, has to be aged in a charred white oak barrel, has to be between 80 and 125 proof, and is mainly produced in Kentucky. Now that we know what bourbon whiskey is, let's talk about its expansion through the U.S. territory. In the early days of bourbon production, it was primarily produced by farmers who would use the excess grain to make bourbon whiskey. This item was exchanged in local markets and led to the construction for a much larger distillery. The responsible for the commercialized and industrialization of bourbon whiskey is Elijah Craig, who opened up the first large distillery in the U.S. It is clear that the industrialization processes helped out to build the popularity of bourbon whiskey. And it is exactly this popularity that has made it a part and an, and an item of cultural significance in American history. Now I'm going to explain bourbon's role in history. During the American Revolution, it was a most important drink among American soldiers. During the time of the 18th Amendment, so Prohibition, it was a symbol of protest among Americans as they kept drinking illegal. Bourbon had a strong impact on music, art, theater, and the film industry. Bourbon whiskey has been a major industry in the United States, generating many jobs and millions of dollars every year. That concludes my speech on why bourbon whiskey is an iconic part of American history. Bourbon whiskey is an important part of American history and economy, but it also has a great remark on American culture. There is a plethora of reasons why bourbon whiskey is part of American culture. It has been among us in the hardest moments and in the most lavish celebrations. And as Mark Twain once said, too much of anything is bad, 
but too much of a good whiskey is barely enough. Good night.